Hi, in this video I'll be showing you this. It's the Hotpoint RDGE9643 washer dryer. And what I want to do today is to show you around the washer dryer some of the features and benefits that it offers. But just for a start, all I'd normally say is please subscribe to my YouTube channel, just give us a quick thumbs up. What I do is I'll talk about household appliances like these. I do specialise in things like cordless vacuum cleaners and there's normally a bit of tech in there as well. So just give us a quick subscribe, I'd really appreciate that, then we'll make a start. So to start off with, washer dryers, what are they? So as it says in the name, it's a washing machine and a tumble dryer in the same appliance. Now for some people, in some countries, especially where you've got quite large kitchens or laundry rooms, then having a separate washing machine and a tumble dryer is pretty standard. And even in the UK here, uh, it, to have a separate washing machine and a tumble dryer is quite normal. Uh, but some people haven't got the space for two separate appliances. Especially if you live in quite a small apartment or a flat, then to have one appliance is the only way forward. Although it's not an ideal situation to have only one appliance doing both jobs, because clearly it's going to take twice as long to do it, uh, for some people, if you've only got one space, then it's something better than nothing. The washing capacity on this machine is 9 kilograms, so it is a good sized load. But what you will find is that, as with a lot of washer dryers, you do need to take some of the washing out before you tumble dry it. Uh, now on this machine you've got a maximum drying capacity of 6 kilograms. So I suppose what some people will do is if they just want to say go through a wash and dry then they'll reduce the wash load so that you can just go through and do it all in one go. As far as the dimensions on this machine uh, what you will find is that things like the, the width and the height are pretty standard. So the width on this machine you're looking around 59.5 centimetres or 23.5 inches and the height on this is around 33, just over 33 inches, uh, or about 84 and a half centimeters. Uh, but the main things that can vary, I suppose, on a lot of washing machines and washer dryers, are the depth of the appliance. Now, this is really important, especially when it comes to larger capacity machines like this. So, on this particular machine, uh, to go to the back of the machine, and if you just go into the front here, then you're looking around 52 centimeters, or about 20 and a half inches. Or if you go into the very front, including the door, then really you've got to look around 59 centimetres or just over 23 inches. To turn the machine on, all you need to do is press and hold the on and off button for a couple of seconds. It sings a little tune to you, which I always quite like. And you'll notice on the right hand side here, you've got a really nice clear LED display. Uh, I must say, I do always like this, the, the colour that Hotpoint use. Uh, against the, the black background of the display, it's nice and easy to read. Uh, some manufacturers, especially some of the brands that use things like red, um, it can be a little bit difficult to use depending on the light that you've got in the room. Uh, but when it comes to the programs, uh, there's quite a lot to choose from. As you can see here on the left hand side, you've got the traditionals, things like anti stain, anti stain 40, cotton synthetics, rapid 30. Uh, so they tend to be, uh, as it says, more for the, the traditional type of programs. So it is really to note that not all of the programs on here can you put the full 9 kilograms in. Uh, the main programs that you can put the full 9 kilograms, so you've got program 2 which is the anti-stain 40. Uh, and what you will find clearly as you go up to the, the full load wash, it does increase the wash time because this is giving you the, the time remaining of the program. Uh, you've got the standard cotton program, so that's program 3. Uh, again, that really shoots up. Yeah, that's 3 hours 55, so it's quite a, quite a long wash. Uh, and the next one, which is the synthetics. So with that one, that's only reduced, that's only down to 4 kilograms. Uh, and then as you go to program 5, the, the rapid. So it's only half an hour wash. Uh, that's, a, you know, that's quite a good one to use, and I think that will be quite popular. Uh, but with that one, you're only looking at 4.5 kilograms. Right, while I'm here, I'm going to quickly zip through some of the programs, just to give you a brief overview of some of them because I know for some people they've quite liked what I've talked about. So uh, on here, this is the next program, the Mix Wash and Dry, which 4 hours 15, that's for both the wash and the dry. Uh, and with that one, that's for maximum loads of up to 3.5 kilograms. So it's, it's only, well, it's just over a third of a load. Uh, but with that one, that's quite a good one if you want to do the whole process all in one go. The Shirts Wash and Dry, so with that one, uh, that's only maximum up to two kilograms, uh, but again, that could be a good one if you've got, uh, say, shirts or blouses that you want to wash and then tumble dry, then that's quite a good option for you. 
Now I will just quickly cover some of these options under here because what you can find is that you've got the different temperature options and what it will do is it will actually limit the temperature on here so depending on the program if we just go back to say program 2 the uh, well program 3 which is quite a common one that's the cotton program and it would normally default at 40 because on the whole that's what most people tend to wash out on the cotton program the maximum is 60 degrees uh, if you wanted to say wash at a very high temperature then you really need to come around to the program 11 that's the the white and with that that gives you the option to go up to 90 but very few programs will go up to the very very high temperatures uh, the next option along here is the spin and what you can do here is you can reduce the spin speed uh, but again depending on the program then it will limit the maximum spin speed that you can spin at because not all programs will give you the ability to spin at the full 1400 what we're talking about the reduced spin this program here the woolen on number eight is a classic because uh, clearly what you don't want to do is you wouldn't want to spin any higher than 800 rpm um, and that's built in to the machine that you can't raise it above that so that's really good uh, the next program to look at is the eco 40 to 60 uh, this is a very energy efficient program. Uh, this program is on, well, should be on all washing machines now. Um, and what you'll find is it's a very energy efficient wash. Uh, for the wash part, for the maximum load, you're looking around three and a half, three hours, 40 minutes. And then you've got the extra time on here that takes it up to around seven hours. Uh, for a lot of people, you're looking at that thinking that's quite a, that's quite a scary amount of time, uh, especially if you've got several loads to do in a day. Uh, but don't forget that on these machines and on a lot of washer dryers that they use something called sensor dry so what it would do is it will actually sense uh, the amount of time that the program needs depending on the amount of moisture within the clothes uh, what you can also do is you can also enable the drying option so first of all you can select how long you want the program to be on for so it starts at 210 minutes and you can reduce it if you want to uh, but what we normally recommend, so that's just turned it off. So that will just be the washing. Uh, a common question we get asked, because when you select these times, is can I just do a wash? And the answer is yes. And that's just showing you here that the wash on its own will take three hours 40. The next option on here, so that's off still. So you've got the automatic option. And you've actually got three automatic settings. And what they are, they are three settings that depending on how dry you want the clothes. So the first one, so A3, means cupboard dry. And what this enables you to do is to take the clothes out and put them straight into a cupboard without having to worry about them hanging up for a while. Uh, so that's a good one if you just want to get everything done all in one go. And that does take it up to just over nine hours, which is quite a, quite a feat of a, a program. Uh, the next option, so A2, that's hanger dry. So that's where you don't necessarily need them to be fully dry, uh, but it's, it just enables you to take them out, pop them onto a hanger, and perhaps leave them uh, for a couple of hours just to finish off the full drying process. And then the next one, which is A1, that's iron dry. Now this is a really good option for things like shirts and blouses, if you've put them in there. You don't necessarily want them to be completely dry, because if you do, then that can make it quite difficult to iron the clothes afterwards. So again, there's quite a few different options on here within the drying uh, button there. Uh, as we go around to the next program, so this is the number 10, which is the 20 degrees C. Again, it's quite a, quite a long program at five hours, 10 minutes for both the, the, the washing and the drying. Uh, let's just cover some of the programs. So you've got the, the one of the, the other ones, I've pretty much covered the white program as well. Uh, Anti-allergy is one of the higher temperature washes. Um, so if, if you've got people in, the, in, in your household that suffer with things like allergies, then that's quite a good one to use because it does enable you to wash at higher temperatures and it just adds rinses onto the end of the program. Steam refresh is a really good option. And what this will do is it just enables you to refresh any clothes or items that you've worn out that are not necessarily dirty, uh, but it just puts them through a, a quick steam program. Um, I suppose the classic one is if you've been out into, say, a pub or a bar 
and if you if your shirt smells a little bit of smoke then rather just hanging it up then just pop it in here and what it will do is it will put just put it through a quick 20 minute program um, and it just helps to refresh the item of clothing and um, for some you know sometimes you, you might find it doesn't necessarily need cleaning uh, it's just got the like smell or odor um, within it and that's really what this this whole concept is about the steam refresh it's something which I think is a really good idea um, especially if, if you don't need to clean an item if it's not physically dirty then why worry about it just pop it in here and put it on the steam refresh program uh, as you keep going you've got this one which is the ultra delicates uh, and as it says this is for very delicate garments and for this program it is a maximum load of up to one kilogram so it is a very small load as you come round, you've got the rinse and spin option so that's the that's this one here uh, clearly what this will do is this will rinse and spin and then go through the, the drying process uh, but if you don't want the drying uh, then if you just turn that off then it brings it down to a more manageable 55 minutes uh, so to do the, the rinse and spin I just have to wait for that for a second uh, if you just want to spin and drain on here then you're looking around 10 minutes so again that's quite a that's quite a popular feature that people tend to use um, so pretty much I've, I know I've talked a bit probably a bit too much about some of the programs um, but just trying to give you an overview of what uh, what the machine can do uh, I've pretty much covered these so those three options here the key lock is a good option or child lock as some people call it and what you can do is you can actually uh, stop little fingers coming along and changing the program so if you've selected that program then it just stops uh, little people normally children coming along uh, and uh, changing the program and then to turn the key lock off all you do is you just press and hold the button <coughs> if you just wanted to use this appliance as a tumble dryer then you've got that option just press that button there and as standard it shows three and a half hours but what you can do is if you press this button again you can select the manual time if you want to so if you just wanted it to tumble dry for say 30 minutes you've got that option there I think for a lot of people you tend you, I'd normally try and recommend using the sensor dry option uh, which are the A programs the automatic ones so you've got A3 and then you've got A2 and then A1 so just a reminder you've got cupboard dry which is A3 then you've got hanger dry and then you've got iron dry and what you'll find is that again they will alter the program times depending on the load that's in there and also the moisture content at the bottom here you've got the delay timer and what this enables you to do is to delay the start of the program uh, that's normally good if you've got things like economy 7 where you want it to come on during the night or if you're out for example uh, that's quite a good option to use and the button on the right hand side here this is called the cleaning action button uh, and what it will do is it makes it possible to optimize the washing based on the level of soil in the fabrics and the desired washing cycle intensity I wasn't reading that at all I promise uh, but wh what this will do is this in, in a nutshell if you've got really dirty clothes then press that button but it does depend on the program that you're on so if I bring it down to say the white program because uh, you can do a lot more with the whites it's uh, a lot more flexible then if you've got really dirty clothes press the button once for intensive and if you if the clothes that you're washing aren't that dirty select the delicate option uh, or if it's in between which I suppose it will be for the majority of clothes then just leave the button uh, unpressed so you've got no lights on there uh, just below you've got this like this that's uh, sort of flashing away at the moment and I suppose because the machine is ready to go then that's uh, just flashing away wants me to press it and that's the start button but you've also got the pause option as well and the reason it's got to pause on there is because after you've started the program uh, especially if you're using the tumble dryer then what you want to try and do is to use the pause option if you need to put something else in uh, with a sensor drying appliance what it will do once it's started and once it's started the sensor process then really you don't want to interrupt it because as soon as you open the door um, which you have got the ability to do then it interrupts the sensor and then once you shut the door and press start then it will start the whole, whole process again so I'd always recommend if you do need to put something else in say if you've uh, got a pair of trousers that you realize you just need to put in the in the drying process as well press the pause button put the 
put the pair of trousers in, shut the door and then press the start button to carry on. When it comes to loading the machine, it's nice and easy. You've got a handle just on the right hand side here. So when you open the door, uh, you'll notice it doesn't quite open 180 degrees. I suppose that's a, a little bit disappointing because some brands, they tend to go back a little bit further. Uh, but as far as the, the size of the porthole is quite, it's quite a good size. So you're looking just over 12 inches or 32 centimeters. Uh, that's something to try and point out to people because when you're loading or unloading nine kilograms of washing, and to have a, a nice big access area is always good. I'll just show you the energy label on the appliance. Uh, there's quite a lot to it, uh, but I won't go into it in too much detail. Uh, but basically for the for the washing side, it's a C energy rating. Um, and for the tumble drying side, it's a D. Uh, clearly you'll find that the, the energy consumption on the, the tumble dry side is, is a lot higher, uh, 307 kilowatt hours per 100 cycles, uh, which is uh, which is pretty standard. Uh, six kilogram maximum drying load and nine kilogram for the washing and there's quite a lot of other information on there things like water consumption uh, but I'd always recommend before you buy an appliance it doesn't have to be a washer dryer have a look at the energy label because uh, sometimes you can find that if you're comparing a couple of models then if you were looking at one that say it might be a touch more expensive then it might be a lot more energy efficient so in the long run could you save save you quite a bit of money I'll just show you around the back of the machine because if you're going to install it yourself then this could be of use. Uh, first of all you've got the water connection at the top right. You do get a new hose with the appliance and it's always recommended to try and use the new hose. If you don't, so if you are using say extendable, if extension hoses then at least put a new washer in the hose before you fit it to the appliance. Um, at the bottom left here you've got the waste, that's the, the waste hose and then at the top left here then you've got the mains so as you can see here although it's secured in at the moment that's a pretty good length of cable uh, you will see in the middle here you have got these four bolts these are called transit bolts and these are imperative to take out so if you are installing it yourself make sure you take these four out that as I say it's really important to do it uh, if you don't then it will damage the machine and that won't be covered under the manufacturer's warranty if you are thinking of buying one of these machines, then I have provided a link below to show you where to get one at a competitive price. I hope you enjoyed this quick video on the Hotpoint RDGE 9643 washer dryer. Honestly, some of these model numbers are getting worse. I'm quite impressed that I tend to remember quite a few of these. Uh, but I, again, hope you've enjoyed the video. Uh, what I normally do is I normally say please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Just give it a quick thumbs up. I do always ask for comments on it as well, on the, the video whether there's anything that I've missed. I know I've gone into, again, quite a bit of detail about the programs, uh, but if you've got any questions on the, on the appliance, then just pop it in the comments and I'll get back to you. If you have got one of these, or if you have got a hot point washer dryer similar to this, then let me know what you think about it, because I'd always appreciate the feedback. Thanks for watching.